Alright, so this is how you create an array list in Visual Basic. So before we start writing in code in our main uh, method, we're going to go ahead and import uh, a library called System. So on the very top of the program, go ahead and type in Imports System. And inside our sub main, we're going to go ahead and make a new array list. Now you do this by how you create any other variable. And this is how you do it. You type dim as or dim and you put the the name of the array list so stuff on my desk that's what I'm calling it as new array list go ahead make sure you put parentheses because array list is a class inside of the system library so make sure you do that and now we're gonna go ahead and make the objects of the array list so we're gonna go ahead and type. Uh, how you do it is you type the name of your array list. So stuff on my desk. Dot add, and inside the parameters, you're gonna put uh, quotes and type the name of the the object. So the first one, which is represented as the number zero. So this is the zero right here. It doesn't go by one, two, three, four. It goes from zero, one, two, three, four. So we're gonna call it. Uh, let's see, pencil. That's on my desk. One thing, and I'm gonna go ahead and copy this. And the next thing I'm gonna say is typewriter. All right, and let's see, gum. And watch. All right, so there's our array list, and we're gonna say, okay, I'm just gonna console dot right line, and I'm gonna say here, oop, here are some stuff that here. Is a list of stuff that is on my desk. All right, so that's pretty cool. And we're gonna go ahead and write. We're gonna create an object of the array list. So we're gonna do this by saying for each. We're gonna call it whatever we want. I'm gonna call it object item a string in stuff on my desk so for each object item as a string which is this so inside our array list it's gonna display everything that's a string that's inside our, our, our array list and it's we created an object of the of the array list so whenever we print object item it will display everything that is a string inside of our our array list. So now we're going to go ahead and in the for statement, we're going to just type in console dot right line, and we're going to put object item in there because that's what we named the object. And before we're done, and we're going to go outside of the for statement, and we're going to write console dot read key. This will pause the program so we can actually read the console program application I mean so here we go we're gonna hit debug here's a list of stuff that are on my my desk oh well but then here it is so yeah I'm gonna go ahead and put in another space so if you want to put a space you just want to go ahead and type console dot dang it I'm messing up here right line and you're just gonna go ahead and put an empty quote with a space inside of it you should put a, a space in between your lines so there we go I hope you enjoyed this quick tutorial and like it if you got pretty decent amount of information out of this so yeah see you in the next video peace out